showing you how to uh, kind of not mod it, but uh, do some tricks. You can see here I've already done a couple of my own. Uh, they're kind of pointless, but you know. All right, so I switched this upside down. Um, kind of pointless, but you know, kind of fun. And I also switched the A. Pointing to the side. If you can see that. There you go. Alright. So, how are you going to do this? Simple. Very easy. S unscrew every. It's got to be a wired one. So, you can use a screwdriver. Or just use a, a torque. Torque. Screw. Screw. Torque screw. To, uh, do the wireless ones all right so face down and just pop it down it should come down a little gentle all right these these you can detach if you want the vibrators uh there's a vibrate the uh, controller every time you shoot it. If you don't want them in there, you could uh, you see that right under there? See that white thing right under there? The wires are attached to. All you have to do is undo those, and uh, it should be fine. I'm not going to do that right now, or probably ever to my controller because. I don't want to. So we'll set to this side. Alright. So basically, everything here. We're gonna need a knife. Uh, tapes for later, I'll show you this a bit later. Alright, so here, you're gonna see this. Take off this. Alright. First thing you're gonna probably want to mod. Well, not, well, yeah, it's kind of a mod, not really kind of thing. Alright, so what you're going to do, right when you instantly take off this rubber piece here, rubber plates to make so the gun, the, you press the buttons and they work, you push this up, the little X, and you can see here, well, here, I'll take this part out. Uh, if you can see here, there is that. That piece is making it so uh, well, it's not working. Uh, so what you're going to have to do is take the bigger piece of the, um, on this, See those two pieces right there and right there. We'll take the bigger one, the bigger one of them, and just cut it. And just keep cutting away. Mine's already done, of course. And until it gets small enough to fit into the small hole of this and then you just simply put it back in to place and it should be upside down now see this one is now upside down and you could easily switch back just do the same thing pop it back out and switch sides and now it's just simply the same exact thing that um, we had bogs keep mine upside down because I think it looks cooler. My opinion. I don't care what you have to say about it. Unless it's a good thing. Alright, so you could do with it, these with all of them except for X, of course, because it wouldn't matter because it looks the same everywhere. Um, so you take, of course, the biggest one and line it up with the small. Alright. These 
work just like this. These holes have those little divots right there. See right there. So uh, that's how this one works too. And that's why you're going to cut it. You're going to cut whatever button you want to mod the biggest side and then once you're done cutting it put it put the biggest side back to the smallest one and it should work and also uh this um makes it uh, so well you're gonna have to cut off one of course <clears throat> cut off one of the little um, see that right there the bump well, you're gonna have to cut off one of them and line them up to whatever side you want it to point to upside down, diagonal, whatever and then line them up and then start to cut to how it fits you can also switch them around if they work like that you can like make them switch if uh, it works but most likely they don't work so you can always cut them off and make them fit so yeah um, Put this back upside down. I also did this with these two buttons that you press in. The start and back button. Now these ones I haven't completely finished. Because they're not totally loose. If you know what I mean. Kind of lost it there. Come on. So I'll just cut it some more. Nope. I am not responsible for anything that happens to your controller while you are attempting this act. That'll be your fault. Because this works 100%. You're just not doing it right. But even if it didn't work and you did it exactly right, it's still not my responsibility. You don't have to do it in the first place. So, with that being said, just keep cutting it and cutting the bigger side, like another one, so it fits into the small one. So they're facing forward. So it keeps facing forward. And you could also just put it on the table and cut from the top and start chipping sides off. It always works for me. Don't want to cut your finger, but anyway, I'll do that some other time. And so they're both put up oppositely. That one drops right in now. And there's going to be a part two to this video.